You know what, I hate to say it, but I'm honestly getting real sick of capitalism. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi, my name is Zaria Smith and I typically make commentary videos just like this one, so if you guys happen to like that or you just happen to like my gorgeous face, make sure to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell to get notified every single time I post, which happens to be on Mondays and on Fridays. Whew. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm actually quite sick right now. Um, I have an ear infection. <laughs> And I have a sinus infection and I just generally feel horrible and I'm dizzy. Um, but that's not going to stop me from filming videos because that's the one thing that I enjoy doing, which is actually kind of the topic of today's video. But before we get into that, today's candle is Southern Peach Tea because um, I like that candle. <laughs> there's like no justification behind it. Um, but I kind of just want to dive straight into the video because there's like a lot to talk about. <music> Basically, you know, some I work at a job. <laughs> Shocker, right? And I do happen to work in food service and customer service and all this stuff. And it got me thinking about the fact that I'm like, I just want to get a new job. I want to get my dream job. Um, I just wish I could do my dream job and blah, blah, blah. Then suddenly on my, I almost said my For You page, on my YouTube homepage, I came across a video by um, Lynette Adkins about how she doesn't have a dream job and how she doesn't dream of labor. But I watched her video and after watching her video, I came across the videos of Taja Shania Fox had, who did more of a video essay, um, Yes Renew, Alice Capel, I Am Tionge, and recently Amanda Mariana um, posted a video, which I love her videos um, so much. And she posted a video about how she no longer has a dream job and now she doesn't dream of labor. Um, and that got me thinking about working. <laughs> um, and what I want to talk about with this, I want to call it an epidemic, um, is that it's interesting to me that a lot of younger people are saying like, yeah, we don't want to work, we don't dream to work. And for someone like me, I, I have, two dream jobs really my number one is that i want to be an actor actress you know that's that's a goal i've had since i was literally like in elementary school like i've always wanted to be an actress um and i've had different jobs that i've been like oh you know um maybe i want to be an interior designer a fashion designer um a architect and many other things but the one thing that i kind of like hammered in that i wanted was to be an actor um and also one of my dreams is to do social media management. I know that sounds really lame, but there was specifically when I was, I wanna say in middle school, there was a TV show that um, came out and it was called Selfie and it was about, Karen Gillan plays a character, but she she was a social media like person for a huge company. And I was like, wow, I wanna do that. Like I love social media. I love engaging with audiences. Like I'd love to do that as a career, you know? So that's what I'm currently going to school for. But all of this to say, it is very interesting to me how all these people are saying they don't want a dream job. They want to just be, you know, free. They want to not have to work nine to fives or seven to three or eight to four, you know, type stuff, which, yeah, I get that. And I'm gonna talk about that. Um, but first I want to tell you guys my experience with working and my <laughs> love-hate relationship with work in general. Um, basically right now I work at a job. I say I'm full-time, but in reality I'm still part-time because of like stupid stuff. But like, I feel like if you work 39 <laughs> or like 38, even th like 38, 39 hours a week at a job, I consider you to be full-time even though if you're not legally full-time, but I work at a job and I've been working there for almost a year at this point. And it is very taxing on my body. Um, I truly, <laughs> I love my job. I love my coworkers. I love what I do. But recently with the panoramic we've been in, customers have just been extra, you know, vicious um, as of recent. And it makes it very hard to come into work every single day. Um, though I do enjoy what I do. The issue is not that I don't like, like working. Like I like literally what I do. Um, but growing up i had always i got a job in high school even though i didn't really need to it was more so just because i wanted to spend money on like clothes and i was just obsessed with making my own money uh, maybe it's my capricorn rising in me but i just <laughs> love money um and i started working my first official job was at kohl's um 
this was an interesting experience to say the least. Um, I also used to work at a church. I worked at, well, you guys know, Steak and Shake. <laughs> Steak and Shake. Um, I worked at Barnes and Noble when I was living in Orlando as a barista. And now I work as a barista, just I'm not gonna tell you where, but I'm sure you could probably deduce what, what would a teenager barista, where would she work? That's where I work. Um, but what's interesting about like working is that I've always loved working. Like I don't, I don't really do good with like lifting stuff and like hard labor, but when it comes to like, you know, checking out customers, love customer service, or at least I used to, I love talking to customers because like my mentality is like, you don't know how a person's day is going and you could be the one person that smiled at them that day and that this is like the one experience that they've had that wasn't horrible. So if I could try making someone's day better, I would like to do that, you know, shopping and all that stuff is very stressful. So for me, I genuinely care about other people. Um, so I'm really great at customer service. <laughs> I would like to say, um, cause I care about other people. Um, so that's my experience with like working. Like I've always loved working and my issues have mainly come from like management or coworkers and never customers. I've never had an issue with customers, but recently I haven't said anything about this, but, uh, about a week or so ago at my job, um, a man cursed me out and called me the N word three times because he's his sandwich wasn't um toasted enough even though they toasted it literally twice and it would have been burnt otherwise um and he cursed me out over that and called me a literal slur and now i do live in north florida so before you guys say like oh well you're black and you live in north florida what do you expect the word is still really hard to hear especially with the hard er with hate behind it um but it was a really hard experience for me and since that experience has been happening i've just grown to be very much like tired <laughs> of what I do. And like I said, I love my job. I have no issue with working. My issue is with customers at this point. Um, but that is my general experience working. Now, I think that I would be a lot happier if I was acting. I feel like I'd be a lot happier if I was doing social media management, if I were an assistant, a virtual assistant. I just don't, I want to make a, like I want a job that like makes me good money because one of the other issues that I have is that I don't get paid enough <laughs> to live. I currently live with my mom, but if I didn't live with my mom, I would be homeless. Well, I have a car, so I'd live in my car, um, which I guess is still technically homeless. If I didn't have a safety net, you know, which a lot of people don't have, and I'm gonna get into that later on, but yeah. So recently I've been seeing um, across the internet and even like in my personal life, I've been seeing a large volume of customer service, like food service workers quitting. Specifically at my job, like four people, five people have quit <laughs> within the past like three weeks. Um, so that's, you know, fun, funky and fresh. But on top of that, like the other day I was going to Wendy's because I love Wendy's. I just wanted a strawberry lemonade. I didn't want anything crazy. I didn't want any food. I just wanted a strawberry lemonade. So I went to Wendy's and I went up to the box I was like, I was wondering why I was a little bit empty, but I was like, you know, like whatever. And I pulled up to the box and it was like, sorry, due to labor shortages, we're currently closed. And also one of the places that I work near, which is a Panera was closed due to shortage, like labor shortages as well, like permanently. Um, and I think the reason why people are quitting their jobs <laughs> mostly is because people are really just sick and tired of how the panini press we've been going through has been treating workers. Um, with the whole trying to push out mass mandates if you live in the south um it's very difficult and like hard to um try to tell someone who's screaming at you and screaming slurs at you to like hey put on a mask you know it's really hard and i used to have two jobs my other job i worked at was hot topic i know I gave off such Hot Topic vibes, but I worked at Hot Topic. One of the hugest things was were parents of the alternative teens, um, which were typically more so conservative, yelling at us and telling us like we like they, like we don't like we can't just make them wear a mask, even though our store policy was you have to wear a mask in order to enter the store. Um, but according to them, it's not private property because they can do whatever they want, you know. So I feel like people on top of that, and then on top of being overworked and understaffed, which the food industry is always understaffed but it's to an extreme now um and it genuinely sucks <laughs> to think about um it's really stressful for no reason and i feel like that being forced because i'm a person who is cross-trained so that means i can do everything which literally sucks there was one specific day where i was doing 
three different things, three different jobs where three, three different people were supposed to be, but since we had no one there, I had to do all three of those things. Um, and I was stressed out. I like went home and I slept the entire day because of how overworked um, a lot of people are in the food industry. Um, and I think that it's justified for people to quit their jobs. I think that you shouldn't have to be mistreated um, like because your job doesn't care about you they're going to replace you anyways but it just sucks to be mistreated and you're not even making like enough money to like survive anyways a lot of people that i work with have two jobs um so you know that's just something to mention um next i want to talk about the privilege to be able to quit which i guess is, can also be me like if i wanted to i could quit and my mom would take care of me like no issues no questions asked really but i feel like that in terms of these huge like these videos that i've been seeing with i don't dream of labor and like i quit my nine to five job and now i'm you know just vibing because like yeah you can vibe because you have parents who will pay your rent and your car payment and car insurance for you um some people don't have that luxury for me like i said i live with my mom if i wanted to quit i could quit and i'm sure she would take care of me i don't think i have to worry about you know being strung out on the street but um that's like a really big fear like there are people we're dealing with like i said like a panoramic um and it's very difficult to deal with like it's really hard and then also for instance in the beginning of the panoramic in the beginning of the pandemic i was gonna say it um i was actually unemployed because my job kind of just stopped scheduling me and was not telling me anything about that and i was practically fired um <laughs> like i was just let go rather with my other job which kind of sucked because i really like doing that job um but I had went and I, in the beginning of the pandemic, we were like, oh, we're gonna like, you can get unemployment payments. And there was like a lot of money. And I was like, great, I can apply for unemployment and then I can try to find a job, but I'll be able to be taken care of. And despite working for this job, guys, for many, many months, I did not make the required minimum amount to in order to um, get unemployment um, for Florida. And it was by fifty dollars. Like, I, if I would have worked another shift, I would have gotten unemployment. Um, that is literally like the harshest reality that I've had to deal with. Um, but if I would have, honestly, if I would have gotten that unemployment check, I probably would have never applied to a job, and I probably would have still been sitting here. Um, I have. I want to move to Atlanta. Um, so I'm trying to save and figure out stuff to move to Atlanta. But one of the things and this is also you know for this being able to quit is that some people have to afford for apartments or some people can't even afford houses in the first place but some people have to afford to like pay rent somewhere and where i want to live rent is typically because for a one bedroom because i have a dog and i'm not going to force my dog into a studio apartment the apartments that i like and the apartments that are safe great amenities are like 15 fourteen hundred dollars um a month and in order to be able to pay that much money on top of a car that i did just get i will say i did get a new car but it was because i needed a new car and then also car insurance for that car it is ridiculous the amount of money that you would have to make to be able to be approved for the apartment without a guarantor and pay for all of my other bills that I have to do it on top of having a dog and having to eat and literally survive. Um, and it sucks that the majority of jobs, like if I wanted to, I could just transfer with my job, but my job doesn't pay nearly enough to be able to afford living in North Florida. So imagine me trying to live in Atlanta, Georgia, <laughs> you know, in the middle of the city, like it, it's, it, it's literally impossible. So when people are able to just quit their jobs and p influencers who are like yeah i just quit my nine to five job because it wasn't making me happy like it's like great like you have the ability to be able to quit your job and be able to provide for yourself but like how can you sit and tell like your millions of subscribers or hundreds of thousands of subscribers that they too can just quit their jobs like it's not that easy and also i want to add that not every single person can be an influencer. Not every single person can be a freelancer. Not every single person can own their own business because if that was the case, then everybody would be an influencer, everybody would have their own business and etc. It is not a thing where I obviously make YouTube videos, I obviously make money from YouTube. I'm no, by no means rich. <laughs> I make a hundred dollars a month. Like it's really like not that like much money. Um, but what I'll say is it's in a way kind of like 
putting into someone's face. Like when I go on YouTube, I go on YouTube to de-stress. I go on YouTube to learn something new. I love commentary videos, documentaries, video essays. That's the type of stuff I watch on YouTube. So if I am poor, right? struggling to get by and I want to go onto my favorite YouTubers channel and I just want to watch something and they post a video about how they quit their dream job that they had and um they were able to do that because of YouTube and talking about how you need to quit your job so you can like it's like it's not that easy for some people if I could literally drop right now and like <laughs> Like, like if I could have every single expense that I need paid for, um, I wouldn't work. Like, but people have to work because if nobody worked, then nobody would make any money and then that'd be a whole thing. And with the current, current society that we have set in stone, it is not possible for every single person on the earth to not work and make an income, which is unfortunate. And there are some people that have hacked the system. There are some people who are upper middle class parents who can provide that stuff for them but for the average american who lives in poverty it is it's not fair and it's not right to just tell people like yeah you can just quit your job and it's totally fine i did it and look at how i'm doing it's like not everybody has the luxuries that you do and this is no tea no shade to all of the people's videos that i mentioned in this but it's just something to think about kind of in the same way of those travel videos that you would see where it's like oh i dropped everything and i traveled to bali and all over the world and it's like well, how did you do that like oh well my parents paid for it and it's like yeah exactly like some people like <laughs> have jobs um next i want to get into the whole lazy millennial and lazy gen z argument um as we know um people like to say millennials are really lazy i'm not a millennial i'm actually gen z though i am I'm older Gen Z, I'm turning 20 in a couple months, which I hate to remind myself of that, but I'm turning 20 um, in August. And the interesting thing about entering the workforce like at the time is like we grew up with seeing the 2008 recession. We're now currently in like a humongous economic crisis and you're expecting us to go to college and be fine like you expect us to be gra like older like the oldest of gen z is graduating college right now and they're getting put into this world of huge people huge amounts of people quitting like it's literally scary and i think it's interesting for people like oh look well, millennials are so lazy when it's like the reason why millennials appear to be so lazy is because the generation before them and the generation before them had such a perfect system put in place for them and did not think about how those repercussions would face upon times now and inflation and i can talk about the whole 15 dollars minimum wage thing which still isn't even enough for the majority of places in the world but people call you know millennials and gen z like lazy like oh if you want to make more money then just get a job but that job pays 7.25 an hour which is the federal minimum wage right now and they cannot afford to live literally anywhere unless they have five roommates um, in order to literally survive. And it's ridiculous. So people have to ask to simply survive. And we can talk about how like millennials, you know, they're currently in the workforce right now, but they came and buy houses because the housing market is so horrible and credit is so horrible and people are just suffering. And Gen Z is, you know, getting the rough end of that. But Gen Z is also, you know, being influencers and trying to, you know, hack the money system that we currently have. But it's just like, what what's the dealio, man? <laughs> Like Gen Z and millennials are no more lazy than the other generations before us. It's just that now we're on line and you can see the stuff that we're doing. And some people, the, sometimes a person after a social day just wants avocado toast. And like, who are you to tell them they can't have avocado toast, you know? Um, next, I briefly want to touch on hustle culture and how toxic it is. Tiffany Ferg made an amazing video on hustle culture. I think it was a year or two ago. It's amazing. I'll put it. Um but hustle culture is literally so toxic like some people cannot work 20 hours out of the day like people like graham stefan who i love graham stefan but he was like yeah i was full-time real estate agent and then i would post on youtube between certain hours and like i did that and that's how i like make the amount of money that i do now with real estate investing and like all this stuff and it's like that's great for you Gary V, um, all of the other, like the YouTube ads that you get where it's like, oh, well, I don't make post videos on YouTube, but I make X amount of money per month. And it's like, 
Some people literally cannot just hustle. Some people cannot work themselves to death. Like, and the concept of people are being like, oh, well, you don't make enough money because you're lazy. And it's like, no, I work a full-time job. I'm also a full-time student. And sometimes I want to be able to have a life. Yeah, sure. If I get off work at five o'clock PM, I have between 5 PM and 10 PM to do something. But it's like, some people need to have a break or they will like unalive themselves. <laughs> Or there are people who are mentally ill who simply cannot just seep into hustle culture. Like it is not as easy as work yourself to death so that you can retire when you're like 50, which the retirement age is literally fluctuating all the time. Like I'll not be able to retire until I'm 80 years old. That's scary. That's scary that I, I might have to be working for all that time when there are people who are now retired that are 60 or whatever, you know? So hustle culture in a way is can be inspiring and good, you know, for the one high school graduate that's like, I'm going to hustle and then they become a multimillionaire or they're like, oh, well, Steve Jobs hustled and Jeff Bezos hustled and Elon Musk hustled. Like the majority of them had rich parents. Um, the majority of things in life you get by having richer parents, um, which sucks. You can, you know, work your way around it. But for the most part with America, um, you, sometimes you can't just hustle your way into being a millionaire. Like it's just not, if every single person did that, then nobody would work like realistically. Um, and my last point, <laughs> this video is so long. It feels more like a podcast, but I'm sick and I'm just talking my head off. Um, but last thing I want to talk about capitalism. <laughs> now I have a video about rainbow capitalism and how they take advantage of the gays. Um, the like the gays, not like the gay. I, whatever. <laughs> But capitalism does not care about you. Um, capitalism is built to suppress the working class and make the rich richer. Um, and honestly, if you have the ability to quit your job, quit that job if you don't like it. If it doesn't make you happy, then dip. For me personally, I work my job and I do YouTube. YouTube to me is not a job, it's just a passion project that I'm doing. Um, but capitalism does literally not care about you your job if you quit right now they will replace you within three days so well most jobs unless you work like in an office which like one of those big fancy jobs but for the most part you can quit your job right now and what are they gonna do you don't even need a two-week <laughs> me just giving off bad energy but some jobs are not worth being mistreated for like if personally I would not let anybody mistreat me for eight dollars an hour there is no way that I could let that happen. And I know I live in an opportunity to where I can quit. And if you can't quit the job that you're in, be you're genuinely unhappy, then quit. Find a new job, find something that's gonna make you happy. Because if you're not happy, that's how mental illness breeds. Um, and you know, as a person who is a creative, I like, this is, this is my creative juices. This is where my creativity goes to. If I didn't have this, I honestly don't know what I would do with myself, <laughs> you know, in reality. So um, yeah, that's my video. It feels more like a podcast. I've been talking for like really long. Um, but if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up because it really, 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 really helps small channels like mine. Um, and also make sure to subscribe. I actually just hit 3,000 subscribers like this morning, like as I'm filming this video, um, which I'm very happy about. I'm going to try to do a live stream at some point um, this week, probably like on Wednesday, just to talk to you guys, just to chat so you guys can like know more about me. Um, and I'll put some, um, I'll put this up on my community page if you subscribe to me so you can like know when that live stream is going to happen. But um, yeah, so subscribe. Um, I like my little family that I have on this channel. It's the one thing that keeps me going because <laughs> God knows capitalism isn't. Um, but yeah, so um, that's my video. <laughs> um, and yeah, so make sure to stay happy and stay healthy and stay safe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys.